Don't allow yourself to be controlled by these five things. Many people spend their life at the mercy of circumstances. Living at the mercy of what happens to them, living at the mercy of other people. Not living in the present because they are stuck in the prison of their past. If you want to live a great life, don't allow yourself to be controlled by any of these things. Number one, your past. Number two, other people's opinions and judgments. Number three, limited beliefs you project on yourself. Number four, relationships. And number five, money. Number one, don't allow your past to control your present or your future life. Whatever happened, you must let it go. Leave the pain of your past behind so it cannot ruin your future. Leave the darkness of your past behind so it cannot block the light of your bright future. Your past is gone. Whatever happened, whether unjust, cruel, harsh, whatever the case, reliving the events will never do you any good. If someone did you wrong, the only way you can win is if you let go and move on. If you live in hate, they win. If you live in the victim story, they win. If you want to win, you must focus on building your future and start right now. Release that weight from your back so you can be free. Don't allow events from the past which are now gone to ruin this moment, which is perfect. This moment, which is now to enjoy, which is ready for you to live fully. Number two, don't allow other people's opinions and judgments to control the direction of your life. The need to fit in and feel wanted can cause you to travel down paths you don't want to travel. People pleasing is a curse that should be avoided at all costs. Before you do anything, ask yourself, am I doing this because I want to do it? or because of my fear of judgment from others if I don't. You were born unique for a reason. You were born to stand out, to be appreciated and loved for who you are. Don't dim your light so you fit into the dull background of other people's lives. Shine bright as you are. Those who really care for you will see that light and shine with you. Number three. Don't allow your life to be controlled by your own limited beliefs. Now, a warning with this one. These beliefs may be conscious, but more than likely, they're unconscious. They may be unconscious limitations that have been conditioned in you from a young age and throughout your entire life by listening to those around you who never reach for their own dream. Notice your own limited beliefs Tell them to shut up. There is nothing you cannot do, nothing you cannot have, and no one you cannot become if you believe in yourself. If you believe anything is possible, guess what? Anything is possible. When you change your belief from limited to unlimited, your potential is unlimited. Imagine what you could achieve if you lived your life as though anything is possible, as though miracles are a standard requirement of every day. As the saying goes, when there is no enemy within, the enemy outside can do you no harm. When you have nothing inside holding you back, there is nothing outside that can hold you back either. Your entire life will change the very instant you decide to change your mindset. The instant you decide to see everything as a gift. 
when you decide to see every circumstance and challenge as a blessing rather than a curse, the very instant you become conscious to the fact that everything in it is as it should be and know that fighting what is, is insane. Number four, relationships. A touchy subject. But if you are always needing another to be happy, to feel complete, then you are always one moment away from a breakdown if that person leaves you. Or unhappiness if the relationship you are in is not going well. I'm not suggesting to avoid relationships. There is no force on earth that is greater than love and connection. I am talking about those who can't live if they are in a relationship. Those who will be with just about anyone, including all the wrong ones, just to avoid spending a moment being single. What I am saying is to develop enough mental strength that you get to the point where you don't need others to make you happy. You are just as happy being alone as you are in a relationship. And number five, this is what controls the majority of humans on the planet. And you guess what it is? Money. This does not mean you shouldn't want abundance. It doesn't mean money is evil. You know as well as I do what great things you can do and how many people you can help with money. What this means is do not allow your decisions to be controlled by money. If you are choosing something only on the factor of how much money is involved, you've just made the wrong decision. What you will find is that when you follow your heart and you lead with your intention to serve others, to give your best to others every single time, when you follow your intuition and truly give your soul, then the money will come. And it will come in far greater amounts than if you simply chase money for the sake of chasing money. So challenge yourself to live the life you want to live, free from being controlled by anything. Find your freedom. Live fully.